Pepis is an Indonesian cooking method using banana leaf as food wrappings. The banana leaf package containing food is secured with lidi sumat a small nail made from central rib of coconut leaf, and then steamed or grilled on charcoal. This cooking technique allows the rich spice mixture to be compressed against the main ingredients inside the individual banana leaf package while being cooked, and also adds a distinct aroma of cooked or burned banana leaf. Although being cooked simultaneously with food, the banana leaf is a non-edible material and is discarded after cooking. Etymology <inaudible> 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 The cooking technique employing banana leaf as the wrapper is widely distributed throughout Indonesia and it is known in many names in several dialects, Pays in Sundanese, Brankasan in Javanese, Brankas in Palembang, Palasan in Javanese Osing, Palai in Manangkabau, and Paya in Asnese. The common Indonesian name Pepis was derived from Sundanese word Papais, the plural form of Pays in Sundanese language. Because its popularity was first contributed through the Sundanese cuisine, today pepis is often associated with Sundanese cuisine. Variations This technique is most commonly used to prepare fish. In West Java, ikan mas is the most popular fish to be cooked as pepis. In Palembang, patin Pangasia suchi and laiz cryptopteris cryptopteris are the most common fish to be used, while in West Sumatra, people use billy fish However, fish is not the only ingredient to be made for pepis. Seafood, meat, chicken, tofu, tempeh, oncom, mushroom or vegetables are also available to be prepared in this method. There are many variations of pepis recipes. Other seafoods such as shrimp and squid, although less common, can be used in pepis. Non-fish meat such as chicken and minced beef mixed with egg can also be used. In Palembang, the dish pepis tempoyak is well known, which is a steamed fermented durian paste in banana leaf container. A rather exotic and unusual meat might also be cooked as pepis, for example as swicky variations, frog legs and frog eggs might be prepared as pepis. The method is used in several Indonesian dishes, and also become the name of a dish prepared in this manner, for example, Pepis ikan mas carp pepis, Pepis dodging minced beef pepis, Pepis ayam chicken pepis, Pepis tahu tofu pepis, Pepis oncom oncom pepis, Pepis teri anchovy pepis, Pepis jamur mushroom pepis, Pepis kodok boneless frog legs pepis. Pepis teller kodok frog eggs pepis Pepis tempoyak fermented durian paste pepis pepis products are typically consumed with steamed rice OTAK OTAK is similar to pepis it is a mixture of fish and tapioca flour with spices wrapped in banana leaf the vegetables with shredded coconut pepis is called botok buntil is prepared in a similar way but used papaya or cassava leaves instead of banana leaves making the wrapping edible as part of the dish a similar Malaysia dish employing banana leaf is called seda. Topic: <inaudible> Preparation. Pepis is made by mixing descaled and gutted fish or any type of food with a mixture of spices including salt, chili, shallots, garlic, turmeric, ginger, lemongrass, curry leaf, candlenut, tamarind, tomato, and lemon basil all wrapped in a banana leaf. Sundanese cuisine recognizes two types of pepis, the regular or plain variety and yellow pepis, which is cooked with turmeric. The leaf is wrapped tight and secured with a stick at each end, then steamed or grilled. To make a soft bone fish pepis, the method using pressure cooker or prolonged cooking time is employed. Gallery equals equals see also